Farm Cousins, Los Clothes, Alabama. Do a quick video for you. But Tyler, actually, Tyler built this cooker. And the uh, gentleman's here to pick it up. He had requested video, so I'm going to do one. What we got here is a 24 by 65. It's an elevated cabinet. It is not a straight back cabinet. So remember, you know, you got straight back and you got traditional cabinets. This is what we call a traditional cabinet door. So it's elevated, 26 inches tall. Uh, I'll open it up. Got real tight right there. Got three levels of brakes. Brakes right there. Uh, this gentleman here has got gaskets on his doors right there. Fire poker that we give all our customers. Uh, guys are charging now, we aren't. This cooker also has a hip roof on, on the warmer right here to match, you know, to match the same angle as that as the main chamber. And it also has a rotated warmer right here. So you can warm and rotate it. We, we lock our doors down really tight initially. So this thing here is rotated right here. Uh, got an ash pan in there that we always put in. Things come out. The, the difference right here on this cooker is uh, from, from a lot of them we do, is uh, it has a shelf that's on the same elevation as the doors right here. That's what he wanted. Most time we put them down, and uh, that's the way I prefer mine, but he wanted his like that, so that's what we did. Trailer's broke back right here into the firebox, like we always do. The cooker here has a insulated firebox, as you can see, with a three-quarter inch door and an ash pan in there. So, you know, that's what he's got, that's what he requested, and that's what he's got. Also, right here, he's got storage on the back of the cooker. Just flip this storage up right here. And uh, he's got storage in there, uh, as we always do. Uh, we got our tubing right here with the wiring running inside the tubing. This cooker also right here has a dual burner, has a tank holder, and it has an elevated griddle right here. Uh, it's, on the, it's all on the same elevation as that shelf. Up front, he's got storage right here. Uh, storage right here, tight. Go just like that. There that is. So uh pretty got a real nice cooker right here. So uh got a remote grease drain on it here. Uh spare tire had to go under here. It wasn't really another place to put it, I don't think. I think that's why Tyler put it there. But uh got got the red paint on the trailer and everything. So it's really a you know nice cooker. It's got the uh, quarter inch, no, I think Tyler did a quarter inch griddle right here on his, and uh, the griddle is removable, so you just season that thing up and cook on it. Uh, again, it's Paul with Shirley Fabrication, Plus Loose, Alabama, he's got the remote grease drain right there. Uh, I don't know what else you want on the cooker, it's got everything, pretty much everything on it. It's got a, also, I guess he's gonna put some artwork back here, kinda put him a stainless steel uh, standoff right here. So, pretty, pretty much got everything you would want. But again, this is Paul with Shirley Fabrication in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Thank y'all for your business. Email Tyler at Tyler at